Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Thank you so much for watching. So today is the day that I have been dreading for quite some time. Today is the day that I'm going to film my skin flick. Um, I had said initially when I got into Wonderland that I wanted to go ahead and put this out there. And as some of you may know, I hit Wonderland this past week. I'm so excited. I waited at 198.8. So I'm just like, let's let's do this. Let's get it over with. Let's get it out there, right? So as some background for you guys, um, I started this process back in July of 2015 and I weighed in at 335 pounds. Today is October, today is not October, today is, I had weight loss surgery on October 12th, 2015. I started that point at 300.8. So I had lost about 35 pounds pre-op and then on the day of surgery I was 300.8 and today I weighed in at 198.8. So. I've lost almost 140 pounds overall, so I figured it would be kind of a good time to show what actually is happening everywhere here. Um, today is August 29th, so it's um, I'm almost, I'm just shy of my 11 months out. I'm probably 10 and a half months out from vertical sleeve gastrectomy. I did have weight loss surgery, like I said, and um, since surgery, I've lost, wow, I've lost 100 pounds. I've lost 101, 102 pounds exactly, because I weighed in at 198.8. So I've lost 102 pounds um, since October, and since July of last year, I've lost um, 137 pounds. So I figured, let's just take a look at what all is happening. I still have a lot of fat to lose. Like I said, I'm not thin, I'm not at goal necessarily, um, but, so I have a lot of fat that's left, not necessarily, not necessarily just loose skin. So like I said, I figured why not just show you what I'm working with. I've really enjoyed watching other people's skin flicks. Um, and then I figured, you know, it would be nice to have this on file and or like on file, but on record for me. And that way I can kind of assess where I am a few months down the line. And then eventually one day when I'm post plastics, I'll have this to kind of look back and Hopefully how much um, has been fixed with plastic surgery uh, will be documented as well. So I figured we can go ahead and just kind of jump right in. If you don't like this kind of stuff, I am gonna show you obviously some skin here, guys. So if you're uncomfortable with that, feel free not to watch. If you don't wanna see some flabby skin and fat on my gut and stuff, feel free not to watch. Um, if you're interested in like gross things like this, I'm your girl, let's do this. So. I'm probably gonna have to adjust the camera angles because I'm like a hot mess right now. So we'll start with arms because obviously that's the easiest. Actually, let's start with let's start with the loose skin that's happening here. I don't know if y'all can see this, but I got some serious turkey neck. I like to affectionately refer to it as my neck vagina because I don't know this light may not really show you, but it's it's some skin and it's not really going nowhere. So um, that's a little bit. That's my first like what the actual like please go away. I don't need you. So that's a little bit frustrating. Um, and then my arms. So these are my arms. I don't know how people do like full body videos. I can't handle it. Um, I have a lot of fat in here still. I mean, this, it, this skin is loose. Like you can see the skin. It's it's not cute. It's But I have so much fat. They are, they are you know, being... <laughs> they are getting a little bit of definition to them from working out, you know what I mean? But I still have fat that I've got to deal with. And so I feel like the loose skin situation on my arms is going to be a lot worse down the line. This is the arm that I have um, my scar on, so it's a little bit different. And a little bit, it's always smaller. Actually, look how much smaller it is. That's nuts. That is not even okay. I even feel like the loose skin on this one isn't as bad as this one. I don't even know why that is, but... So yeah, so like I said, the most um, frustrating part of it is when it's like like pooling almost right here. Do you see that happening? Um, or like when I'm trying to take a picture and you can see like all the rippling of all the skin and the fat underneath. Like, ugh. And so, um, yeah, as you can see here, oh, wow, look at that. I've got some skin. And then I've got some boob fat, back fat here. It has a little bit of fat in it, but a lot of it is skin. My armpits actually go in now, so that's been interesting with shaving. It's always just had fat in it, so I've never had an issue. But yeah, I have some back fat, and it's really annoying. Um, the boob situation, I'm obviously not showing you my boobs, or going to try not to. Um, but as you can see, you're probably going to see some boobs. As you can see, it's just, they're so deflated and really sad. Um, 
I don't know how to show you, but you know, you can kind of get the picture here. They're really just like folded, melted skin things, skin bags now. Um, so as far as the belly goes, we're just gonna, we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna commit and do it. And, um, oh Lord. <laughs> so this is, the infamous gut in all its glory. Um, I've always had the double gut. I have a lot of skin right here. It is just not even. I have a lot of skin down here. I don't have as much, I feel like, up here. I definitely have some skin. You know, I have the stretch marks, and as it loses its volume, you know, obviously there's some loose skin. Um, but it's not as bad um, as it is down here. Like here, it's just like all wrinkly and grody. Um, I really feel like this is flattening out as much as uh, it doesn't necessarily look that way as of right now, but this has always been really big and like protruded a lot. And now I feel like it's almost smaller than my boobs. Is that true? Yeah, it's, I mean, it, it pokes out a little bit, but you can see like just all of this. And then it like, I don't know, it's starting to like meet in the middle here. So I don't know if you can see this, but as if I like lay down or whatever, like who lays down like this, but you know, it, the overhang, it like meets in the middle and it, it, I don't know, it's just really weird. Um, and then like I said, I've always had this too. The, I will say that the rolls obviously are a lot less than what they used to be. Um, this is my back. My back, I have just, it's just fat. Like I feel like I, I mean, maybe I do have loose skin, not that I can see, obviously, it's my back. Um, but like even the rolls here are a lot less obviously than what they used to be. They're just still full of fat, you know, so it's not too much different. I mean, like I said, these are a lot thinner. They used to, I used to be able to like grab them like this and they filled my whole hand. And so now like that's kind of weird, but that's how I like judged if they were going down, like I would measure it with my fingertips. I don't know. Is that weird? That's weird. Um, so now, you know, I know that they're going down. Um, yeah, and then one thing that I'm not thrilled with, I'm going to try not to sh show you all kinds of everything, but um, as you can see, so this, you know, my fupa <laughs> portion here, it is going down a bit, so it's like flattening out a little bit, but I'm getting this line now that's like, do you see how it like goes almost all the way back? I never had that before. It like stopped and then was just obviously fat, but it's almost like it's starting to roll here, and I am not okay with that. So I don't know what's happening there. But yeah, so this is my stomach um, in all its gosh darn glory and the overhang and the rolls. Like I said, it used to be obviously way worse, um, but this is what it is. So I don't know how I'm going to show you guys my legs. Um, I really don't know. Um, but. You may or may not be able to see that there is a lot of skin down here. Like, it is still full of fat, yes, but why are we, why are we doing this? Why? <laughs> um, it is still full of fat, but, like, I don't know if you'll be able to see anything. <laughs> this camera angle on this camera. But, like, all down here is all loose skin. Like, I can see the definition of where my muscle is, but it's all, like, just flabby skin. And then up here I still have some fat. Like, I can still feel the fullness right there. Um, but especially like down here or when I'm walking, um, you can see it really pooling up about here. Um, so yeah, so let's do an intense squat. No, let's not and say we didn't. Um, so there you go. There's my skin flick. Like I said, sorry. Um, but that's, you know, that's just my body and what I'm working with now. I hope some of that is helpful to others. Um, I hope that y'all aren't too nasty in the comments. I feel like that's that's gonna happen, but um, thank you so much for watching. If you did, thanks for putting up, because I'm telling you right now, this video is crooked, so I apologize for that. Um, but thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave them down below. Find me on social media, shoot me a message, whatever. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you for not being super judgmental. I appreciate you guys so much, and I will talk to you later. Bye.